welcome back. This is a very special week. Over my blog, a kathymoment.blogger.com, it is bridal shower week. I am throwing a bridal shower. I am both the maid of honor and soon to be sister-in-law to Kelly. And I am so excited. This is gonna be really fun. So all this is getting posted after the bridal showers actually happen, so Kelly doesn't know because it is all a surprise. So I'll tell you how I do it, run through, kind of run through some of the best products, and check it out if you want to. All bridal showers need a theme, and I chose a garden party. It's going to be hosted in my backyard, and I'm pretty stoked about it because it's basically a tea party without the tea because I realize I go a little nuts on the tea department, so there's going to be no tea unless someone requests it, then I will make them a nice cup of tea. But it's going to be awesome. This video is going to be a haul video of everything I bought for the bridal shower. Some of the things for the bridal shower I already have, so I'm not going to include any of that because you'll see it in pictures later. So let's get started. First thing I did whenever I played in the bridal shower was make the invitations. So I'm not going to show you the invitations because they do have my address and whatnot and her middle name Ooh, and everything on it. But they are very cute. They are very garden party. And what I did is I actually printed these myself. I bought this from Target. Ooh, we can't really see it very well. But it is the Garter Studios. It's 50 count of flat cards and ovals. They are a half sheet of paper, like this, compared to my face, with a full envelope. These things are massive, and I felt really bad because I actually sent out the wedding invitations because they were on vacation with Kelly's family. And I sent them out at the same time, so people would have got them in the mail at the same time. And my invitations were bigger than the wedding invitations. Whoops! With the bridal shower, you're always going to have food. And I didn't want to use our plates that we currently have, so I have purchased some from Target again. So these are the value packs. Ooh! These were, I believe, $3.09 each. So here's 60 plates, and these are what, like six inch plates. It's gonna be a 10 o'clock bridal shower, so it's not really a meal, but we're gonna have a lot of sweets. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of sweets. So I got these. Then I got the 60 pack of value pack napkins. <laughs> and then I got the 60 value pack of forks, knives, and spoons. Now, I already bought the napkins, but I made a special trip to Ikea with Kelly two days ago now. <laughs> and we got stuff for the wedding itself and for the bridal shower. And I saw stuff that would match. So along with having these, I bought some pretty napkins. Because <laughs> I couldn't resist. I could use these for any party. But they have pretty flowers on them and it's garden party. And I'm really excited for these. I kind of just want to keep them. I don't know what I'd use them for. My favorite purchase from this has to be my paper straws. Now I don't think you can have a bridal party without having paper straws because it just makes everything more fun. So I bought these off Etsy and it is from a shop called Sprinkle Joy and these are actually, I believe they were called Garden Party. I'll look it up and put it down below. But look how dang cute these are. They are, and I didn't make this myself, but you can customize these with any ones you want. She has a ton of, ton of different options. But I have, they're kind of gold polka dots, pink little square floral things, and flowers. I thought these match the theme perfectly and I might have bought some extra for myself for after. One of the other things I got from Ikea is this. This is a pot for a plant. I actually had a white version of this in England with my little plant, which I miss so much. But this is on sale, only 99 cents, so I couldn't help get it. I think, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this, honestly. It matches the theme. Um, maybe utensils? If I put utensils or honestly I might pot a plant in it, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I couldn't resist it. It's just so cute. One of the other things for the bridal shower, Kelly actually bought, and they're actually for the wedding. But I asked if I could borrow them and she said yes. So we bought 13 of these. They are cute little glass vases, this is what, eight inches tall, with little polka dots on them. They were 79 cents each and we bought one for each table for the wedding. And I asked if I could borrow some, so I have like half of the number that we have. And I'm gonna put just like a single flower out of them for inside the tables. I thought it'd be really cute. One of the other things I'm most excited for is because this is a garden party, and it's gonna be English because you know me, I'm making bunting. So if you know about British like street parties like the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, they hang bunting from across the streets. And I decided 
why not do that to my backyard because I'm that cool. So I picked up three things of fabric and I did buy a lot. So the first one I bought is, and Kelly actually helped me with this, but she doesn't know what it's for, is this one. So it is kind of like an artistic drawing of I don't know, flowers, bulbs. I think it's kind of cute. Then I've got this guy, just stripes green and off white. Then this one, which is my favorite, I kind of want to just keep it and make pillows out of it. And it has actual like flower diagrams and it's all purple, yellow, and green. The wedding, by the way, is purple with a bit of yellow, so perfect. And I'm really excited about this. I will have a tutorial on my blog later this week as to how I made this bunting, in case you're curious. And I'm kind of excited. I haven't made them yet, as you can kind of tell, but I'm so excited. These are also really heavy. The last things I bought are all for serving, and I'm pretty excited about this because it means I get to keep them. And some of them I actually bought as the shower present for Kelly because Kelly is a baker more than myself. She's better than myself. I won't all admit, but I'm really excited. First thing is a gift for Kelly, and it's just this cake stand. It is an off-white with little cute little scallops. I love it. And I might have bought myself one of these. I'm trying to decide if I need it or not, or if I need to return it. I don't know. I still haven't decided yet. But so this is a cake stand, and I plan on putting her bridal shower cake, which is going to be an Earl Grey cake with raspberry, and I'm really excited to try to make this because I'm using Earl Grey tea in no cake, and who wouldn't love that? So this is what's going to hold the main cake. The other gift I have for Kelly is these bowls. Woo! So they are complete purple, which most bowls are still white on the inside, so I thought these were really cool. But I plan on using these, I think, for either like nuts. I don't know, nuts at 10 a.m. in the morning might not go over well. Fruit, fruit will go over well. So these might both be full of fruit, maybe all melon balls and stuff because I love to melon ball. And I don't know, I just thought they're really cute. I hope Kelly loves them. I'm sure she will. I'm sure they'll have tons of cereal or ice cream. I just like spinning these. Ooh, it's like I'm turning dials. Ooh. <laughs> and excited to see how I'm going to use those. The last two things I got are both trays. I don't have any trays of my own until now. Now I have two and I'm really excited. But I'm just going to be borrowing trays from people that kind of match the theme. And I saw these and I couldn't really resist. So this first one is from Ikea and what? Does this match the napkins? Yes, it does. <laughs> so this has that same green with the flowers on it. It's very garden party-like and I'm really excited. I'm thinking maybe cookies on this. I don't know, I have to figure it out once I have all the trays together. But I'm really excited about this. I think that in the future, I will use this quite a lot for my different parties. And the last tray I have is possibly my favorite. I mean, I don't wanna make my other tray jealous or anything, but I mean, come on. So this one I found at Sur La Top. So it's S-U-R, La, then table. And I found it at a really good deal. It is originally $40 and I found it for 10. And come on, <laughs> it has teapots all over it. And it has them on the back. I think that whenever I actually have my own place, I might get a stand for this and like put it above the fridge to decorate with. <laughs> I love it that much. So I'm thinking probably the finger sandwiches are gonna go on this tray, but then you cover it up. Mm. Still trying to decide a little bit, but I think it's no count. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some inspiration for your bridal showers, wedding, whatever kind of party you like to throw. And check out my vlog all this week for more about this bridal shower and see you in the next one. Bye. And you will see my candle. Uh, together. Ooh, get together. Woo. Can you feel the love tonight? <sighs> we can do this, we can do this, yeah, 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 we can do this. <laughs> Some sort of a kind of metal, but not a metal. Yeah, this is metal. Yeah, it's definitely metal. What am I talking about? I just hit myself in the face. Off the stickers. Take off the stickers. Oh, stickers, you're so fun. You're so fun. You blow my money stickers. Hey, 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 stickers. Shh, shh. Get together by yourself with your stuffed animals. Whatever you feel like to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't do this. Someone's at the door. Hello there. There's a siren.
<laughs> Are you hiding behind the bridge? Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, I'm wearing your slippers. In our garden party or other sorts of party, what am I doing with my hands? I am such a weirdo. I told you. Oh, that did not taste good. It's, it's getting there and it's gonna get there. Oh shoot, it's in one week. <laughs>